Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel, Happy Lal. What is myopia and how it is corrected? What is hypermetropia and how it is corrected? What is presbyopia and how it is corrected? By the end of this video, we will be able to answer these questions. First of all, let us quickly recollect the basics related to eye. Let us quickly understand few important parts of human eye and their functioning. This is an eye. It's a lens, retina, optic nerve and this is brain. There is an object in front of the eye. The rays coming from the object are converged onto retina by the eye lens and a clear image is formed on the retina and that is passed to the brain and the brain reads a clear picture. Our brain reads what the retina receives. If a clear image is formed on the retina, then the vision will be clear. Now, let us understand myopia, hypermetropia, presbyopia and uh, corrections to them. First of all, we need to understand near point and far point. Let us do an activity, note down the observations carefully. This is an eye. Place an object in front of the eye. If it is clearly visible to the eye, if the brain is able to see it clearly, then put a green button for that object. Slowly move that object towards the eye and note down if it is clearly visible to the eye. When it is blurred, put a red button. Continue this process. On the other side also, when it is visible, put a green button. If it is blurred, put a red button. Now, this observation has three regions. This is green shaded visible region and this one red shaded is blurred region. The visible region has two boundaries. One is closest to the eye called as near point and the distance from the eye to the near point is the least distance of distinct vision and the other forest to the eye is the far point. Now, let us understand myopia, hypermetropia, presbyopia and corrections to them. So, these are four eyes. First, constant on the normal eye, healthy eye without any defects. Observe various objects are placed in front of the eye. Green and red buttons are there. Green button means visible to this eye. Red button means it is blurred, you can say. So, up to 25 centimeters, this eye is unable to see the objects clearly. From 25 centimeters onwards up to infinity, its vision is clear. So, its near point will be at 25 centimeters and the far point will be at infinity. Now take the another case an eye with the defect called myopia. The visibility is shown here. The green buttons shows its visibility. Red buttons shows blurred vision. That means this eye is also unable to see up to 25 centimeters and particularly this eye is unable to see the objects clearly distinctly which are at longer distances. So its near point will be at 25 centimeters and far point is at a limited distance but not infinity. Now, let us take an example of an eye with a problem called as hypermetropia. And this is the visibility of this eye. The green button shows its visible region. If you observe carefully, this eye is unable to see the objects placed at shorter distances. From 25 centimeters to few meters, this eye is unable to see the objects clearly. But at longer distances, its visibility is good. So, this eye has the near point at a few meters and the far point at a infinity. Now, let us take the example of presbyopia. This is an eye with a defect called as presbyopia and this picture shows its visibility. The visible region for this eye is very limited. At the middle, you find a few green buttons. So, its visible region is very, very, very narrow. 
the objects placed at a shorter distances are not clearly visible to the sight and also the objects placed at a longer distances are also not clearly visible to the sight but only those objects which are at intermediate distances are visible to this eye so its near point is not 25 cm but is more than 25 cm maybe at few meters and its far point is not at infinity it is at few meters so this complete picture shows that the normal eye healthy eye has a near point at 25 centimeters far point at infinity and a eye with the problem called myopia has near point at 25 like normal eye but the far point is at few meters instead of infinity and in the case of hypermetropia the near point is not at 25 but it is shifted away from the eye whereas the far point is similar to the health the normal eye. In case of presbyopia, neither the near point nor the far point are coinciding with the near and far points of a healthy eye. It has very limited visible area. Its near point is at few meters and far point is also at few meters but beyond near point. Now, when a biconcave lens is placed in front of the eye suffering with myopia, then its visible region increases, absorb the green buttons and the far point is shifted to infinity. That means the problem is solved and now this eye is equivalent to a normal eye. Then, in case of a hypermetropic eye, a convex lens is placed in front of the eye as a spectacles. Then, observe this green shaded area. The visibility region increases and the near point is shifted to 25 centimeters. That means when the biconvex lens is used, this eye suffering with hypermetropia is also becoming equivalent to a healthy eye. Now, when a mixed lens, a lens half concave and half convex is used as spectacles for this eye suffering eye presbyopia, then the visibility region is increased. Observe the green buttons. The near point and far points are shifted to the positions like any normal eye. That means the problem is solved. Recapsulation Point 1. Our brain reads what the retina receives. Point 2. If a clear image is formed on the retina, then the vision will be clear. Point 3. If a clear image is formed before or behind the retina, then the image on the retina will be blurred and the vision will be blurred. Point 4. If an eye is able to see clearly and distinctly all the objects placed at a distance 25 cm and above from the eye, then it is said to be a healthy eye. Point 5. The inability of our eye to see clearly and distinctly when the objects are placed at a distance less than 25 cm is not a defect but it is common in all humans. Point 6. The nearest but clearly visible point is the near point. For an healthy eye, it is at 25 cm from the eye. Point 7. The farthest but clearly visible point is the far point. For an healthy eye, it is at infinity from the eye. Point 8. The distance to the near point from the eye is the least distance of distinct vision. For a healthy person, its value is 25 centimeter. Point 9. If an eye is unable to see clearly the objects at longer distances, but is able to see clearly the objects at shorter distances, then the defect is called myopia. Point 10. When a suitable concave lens is used as spectacles, then the myopia is corrected. If an eye is unable to see clearly the objects placed at shorter distances, but is able to see clearly the objects placed at longer distances, then the defect is called hypermetropia. Point 12. When a suitable convex lens is used as spectacles, then the hypermetropia is corrected.
If an eye is unable to see clearly the objects placed at a shorter distances and the objects placed at a longer distances and is able to see clearly only the objects at intermediate distances then the defect is called the presbyopia. When a suitable mixed lens is used as spectacles then the presbyopia is corrected.